Welcome everyone, this morning finds me on the Mother Road, Route 66. Last time I was here was about a year ago and I said I wanted to visit the world's largest gift store but it was closed and guess what today it's closed as well as you can see the fog is like the proverbial pea soup it was about an eighth of a mile visibility this morning it's starting to lift a little bit not really good driving weather picked a rough couple of days to drive it was terrible yesterday ice storms I think it's a little better today but let's go inside the candy store. There are some unusual flavors of soda that I want to try. And they still have their Christmas tree up. whether you want candy or just unusual souvenirs. This is really an interesting place to stop. But here's what I want. Some of the strange flavored sodas. Butter soda, sweet corn, coffee, bacon, bacon soda. Yuck. No, 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 Martian poop. That is so wrong. Buffalo wing pickle and peanut butter and jelly. And look at that. They have something from my hometown of Milwaukee. Sprucker's root beer. I'm going to try something weird, but not too weird. I'm going to go with peanut butter and jelly. And how about coffee cake? We will try a coffee cake. And we have some happy little flavors here. Bob Ross, strawberry, blue raspberry, green apple. It looks like there might be another one at the end here. Oh no, I'll bet that's the paintbrush. And I'm gonna try some milk chocolate covered pretzel. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? And one last look at giant jawbreakers and to get an idea, these are the size of a softball. I have no idea how anybody could eat those. Well, I made it home and we are going to sample the different sodas that we bought. And the first one we're going to try is coffee cake. And these bottles, I think you need your church key. So let's pop this off. And I just have a tiny little sample glass. So we'll see how this goes. You know, it smells like cream soda. So let's see how it tastes. Kind of tastes like a real heavy real syrupy cream soda. It doesn't really have, I don't know what a coffee cake would taste like in a beverage, but very, very sweet. I would not want to consume a whole bottle of this. It's just overwhelmingly sweet. Almost like I'm drinking pure corn syrup or something. Okay, next peanut butter, and jelly. Let's give that a try. Maybe these are screw-off. I'll try to screw off the next one because I'm a screw-off, right? Peanut butter and jelly soda. I can't imagine how soda could taste like peanut butter and jelly. I can't even discern a, an aroma from it. 
example, let's see. Well, it doesn't taste like peanut butter and jelly. It's not a bad taste, but it's not a good taste. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to describe this even. I don't really like it because it doesn't really have a flavor. I'm not tasting, have, getting a strong peanut butter taste. I'm not getting a strong jelly taste. A jelly taste would just be like grape or strawberry or something, wouldn't it? Before we go to the next one, we're going to try the chocolate covered pretzels. Okay, here they are. I can tell you I've been into these already and they are delicious. The chocolate is really a rich, creamy chocolate. And the pretzels were really nice and fresh and crisp. These are so good. $4.99. And it was a really big bag. I'm down to one, two, three, four and a half pretzels. That's how good they were. Okay, let's try the last one. Mm. Got to get that chocolate out of my mouth. Oh, that's right. We're going to try this to screw off. Yep, it did. This is Virgil's Handcrafted Cream Soda. Well, I think I'm still getting a little bit of the aftertaste from the chocolate. So let's try this again. The coffee cake actually tastes more like what I think of cream soda than the cream soda. Not my favorite. I have to say, the coffee cake, I think out of the three is my favorite. I wish that it wasn't quite so overwhelmingly sweet and syrupy because it has a really, really good flavor to it. So there you go. That's, you know, I, you notice I didn't try anything really weird and outlandish and bizarre, but I did try some unusual flavors. Thanks for joining me on this quick visit to one of my favorite places along Route 66, the Candy Factory. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos, leave your comments down below if you haven't already. Please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. Don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'm Mark from the Average Me Channel.